वेलकम टू डिजिबाइट टेक्नोलॉजी क्रिएटिंग वैल्यू विथ डेटा हाय एवरीवन आई एम सिंधु फ्रॉम डिजिबाइट वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑन एमएल ऑप्स विथ डेटा ब्रिक्स एमएल ऑप्स इज अ सेट ऑफ प्रैक्टिसेस दैट कंबाइंस डेव ऑप्स डेटा ऑप्स एंड मॉडल ऑप्स टू मैनेज योर कोड डेटा एंड मॉडल्स इफेक्टिवली इट स्ट्रीमलाइंस द एंटायर मशीन लर्निंग लाइफ साइकिल from data preparation to model deployment ensuring the scalability collaboration and efficiency in this session we will cover ml ops key ml ops features in data bricks under machine learning and the ml ops workflow this includes data storage processing model training staging and serving along with an overview of the ml ops block diagram and its implementation Now let me explain you why we really need DataBricks for ML ops. Building a machine learning solution, it is not just about training a model right. It is about managing the data, tracking experiments, deploying models, and ensuring everything runs smoothly in production. This is where DataBricks truly shine. This is our DataBricks UI. DataBricks has a lot of cool features for ingestion, cleaning, and processing data. Once we have good quality data. we can start our machine learning activities now let's see how databricks help with it now let us explore different features under machine learning in databricks first comes playground in the playground you can experiment with different models and algorithms i can say it is a flexible space for trying out ideas before scaling up next feature is experiments experiments helps us to track different model training runs it will compare results and even train auto ml models find the best performing model here you can see different models available for forecasting classification regression just with a one click we can start an auto ml model next come features feature store is a centralized place to store and reuse pre processed data for training our models it saves time for data scientists and reduces rework here you can see we are storing our features in hive meta store and also we can store in unity catalog next feature is models models is a hub where trained models are stored versioned and managed making deployment and collaboration easier we can also share trained models with our teams we can register the trained model under unique versions which makes the deployment very easy without any confusion Next feature under machine learning is serving. Serving helps to deploy ML models as endpoints, making them available for real-time prediction in applications without needing complex setup. Just with a single click here, create serving endpoint, we can deploy our models easily in DataBricks. This is all about the features available in DataBricks under machine learning. Now let us look at the block diagram for ML ops. This is the block diagram explaining the ML ops life cycle. In this session, first we will start by storing our data in Delta Lake, which will act as reliable storage layer. Then we will pre-process the data to clean and transform it. After pre-processing, the pre-processed data features will be stored in Feature Store, allowing us to use them for model training. without repeating the same steps once the data is prepared we will move to model training and evaluation where different models will be trained and tested and the best performing train model will be registered in the model registry ensuring proper version control and easy tracking and finally the registered model will be deployed in model serving where it will be used for real time predictions through api This complete streamlined process will ensure efficiency, scalability, and easy management for ML models. Now that we have a high-level understanding of ML ops and the machine learning tools available in the DataBricks, in the upcoming session we will dive into their functionality and implementation with a specific use case within the DataBricks platform. Stay tuned for hands-on experience.